What happens if you drop a nuclear bomb into a hurricane? Consider a future in which natural calamities such as hurricanes no longer have the power to cause devastation and ruin. The idea of using a nuclear bomb to stop a hurricane is fascinating and has been floated around for decades. The concept may sound like science fiction, yet it is based on scientific truth and presents some serious considerations. What happens if a nuclear weapon is dropped into a hurricane? In this video, we'll look at the possible effects and decide if this is an excellent way to stop deadly hurricanes before they cause much damage. We'll look into every aspect of this exciting theory, from the physical effects of the storm to the political and moral implications. So join us as we seek the truth about what would happen if a nuclear weapon was launched into a hurricane. Natural disasters such as Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and Sandy in 2012 are just two examples of the devastation they may cause. These events severely impacted the areas they affected, causing damages of more than $105 billion and $74 billion respectively. With the possibility of hurricanes getting even stronger, stopping one before it hits land is appealing. But is it even possible? Meteorologist Jack W. Reed first offered the idea in 1959, claiming that a submarine with nuclear weapons might cruise through the hurricane, discharge the missiles inside the eye, and lessen the storm's wind speed and force. However, this notion is incorrect and ineffective. You will be surprised to know that in 2019, Trump's suggestion to bomb hurricanes before they hid caused the scientific community to raise their eyebrows. Despite its appeal, the concept is significantly more complicated than it appears. Using the military to deal with natural disasters is a complex and challenging task, requiring a deeper understanding of the issues involved. Chris Lanzi, the Science and Operations Officer at the National Hurricane Center, explained this topic when he was a research meteorologist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The biggest issue with utilizing explosives to affect hurricanes is the massive amount of energy required. The energy for a hurricane comes from warm ocean water, which releases heat energy as water vapor condenses into rain droplets. The heat emitted during condensation warms the surrounding air, causing more seawater to evaporate and the cycle to continue. At any given time, a fully developed hurricane gives off 50 terawatts or more of heat energy, but only about 1% is turned into the wind. It may shock you that a hurricane's heat is equivalent to a 10 megaton nuclear bomb exploding every 20 minutes. Can you imagine that all of the energy used by people in 2011 was less than a third of what an average hurricane has? Attempting to bomb a hurricane is thus similar to try to stop a speeding car with a feather. It would not affect the storm's huge amount of energy. There is also the chance that bombing a hurricane will strengthen it by increasing the storm's heat supply. Also note that the amount of energy required to change or stop a hurricane is significantly large, plus the risk of making the storm even larger makes this theory unworkable. In addition, the idea of using a nuclear bomb to stop a hurricane is not only unrealistic, but also illegal. The United States and the Soviet Union in 1990 signed the Peaceful Nuclear Explosions Treaty. It strictly forbids the use of nuclear weapons for non-military purposes to just 150 kilotons. Given a hurricane's enormous size and force, it is exceedingly unlikely that such a small amount of energy would significantly impact the storm. Now let's go over other reasons why this theory can't be implemented. It may seem that nuking a tropical depression to prevent it from becoming a hurricane is intelligent, but it is not that simple. That's because tropical depressions originate roughly 80 times yearly in the Atlantic Basin, but only about five become hurricanes in a typical year. So it is impossible to anticipate which will develop into hurricanes and which will not. Even if we could foresee which ones would become hurricanes, nuking a tropical depression would be difficult. Tropical depressions are already quite powerful, and even if they were only 10% as powerful as a full-fledged hurricane, they would be difficult to contain. Another issue with nuking a tropical depression is the creation of a radioactive storm. That means that instead of dealing with a regular hurricane, we'd have to cope with a radioactive one. A radioactive storm's fallout would spread with the trade winds and could be far worse than an ordinary hurricane making landfall. So indeed, we don't want to produce a radioactive hurricane that would exacerbate the situation. Makes sense, right? Okay, we get it. 
Hurricanes can be difficult to live with, but it's vital to realize that they've always been a part of our planet's history and will continue to be so in the future. While we cannot control them, we can certainly plan for them. We can reduce the damage and loss of life caused by hurricanes by investing in good infrastructure, developing evacuation strategies, and being proactive about preparedness. But it's not only a matter of bracing for the worst. Hurricanes can also bring about regeneration and beauty. They aid in the distribution of heat and moisture around the earth, removing dead and decaying plants and animals, and creating fresh prospects for development and life. We can learn to understand and respect hurricane strength by accepting their position in our world, rather than attempting to destroy or change them. Finally, living in peace with nature is preferable rather than trying to control it. That's all folks, we hope that you found this video helpful. Remember, hurricanes are a natural part of our world and by learning to live with them, we can build a more secure future for ourselves and future generations. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking material like this. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We truly appreciate it.